Hey folks, what's up? It's Bibbs here from SlideNerd. In this video, I'm going to talk about how we can put JSON data inside a recycler view. In the previous video, I showed you how you can parse JSON data with the help of the Voli library from Rotten Tomatoes API endpoints that we had used in our app. So in this video, let's take a look at how we build the adapter, how we build the custom view, and how we can ultimately use the recycler view to show what we need. In the first step, go to our layout file, which is fragment underscore box underscore office dot XML. Here in the text part, you can replace this text view with a recycler view. Now later, I'll be replacing this frame layout with a swipe to refresh layout in the upcoming videos. If you don't know how to set up a recycler view, I have already talked about this in my playlist. Just go to youtube.com forward slash slide note forward slash playlist and you should see the material design playlist which contains recycler view stuff from videos 10 to 20. Here's my recycler view widget created in XML. I have given it an ID so that I can refer it from code and if you go to the design layout at the time of making this video Android Studio doesn't really recognize the recycler view but maybe by the time you're watching this you're able to see the recycler view here which is pretty good. The next step that we need to do is go to our code here that is our fragment box office and initialize the recycler view and assign it a layout manager otherwise our code will crash so in code create a field recycler view i call it list movie hits to go down all the way to the on create view method i've initialized that from our xml layout and i have also set a layout manager because without it the app is going to crash at this point if you run the app this is what you see now this first screen is obviously not our fragment box office the second one is and there you go there's nothing displayed here which means it's our recycler view currently that's showing up at this point by defining the recycler view widget inside our fragment box office we have told android how we want our entire list to look but what we haven't told yet is how we want every single movie item to look for that we need to create a separate layout file we can go here by saying new layout resource file call it whatever you want I have given it a root element of a relative layout. Click OK and it says do you want to add this file to git? Yes. And here if you go to the text part, all we need to do now is create the image views, the text views and other things that are going to contain our data. A single movie result will look something like this. Here we have our image view which is of size 54 by 80 because that's the size of the image that we are trying to download. To go further, there's a title here, there's a date, and then there's our rating bar widget where I'll convert the audience score out of 100 into something out of 5 and display that inside the rating bar. If you're new to creating layouts, be sure to go to youtube.com slash slide note slash playlist and check out the Android tutorial for beginners playlist where all the videos cover layouts in detail. By the way, the code is available for your reference on github.com forward slash slide nerd. You can go to repositories and here is our material design test app where all the current code is going inside. You go back to Android Studio. The next thing that we need is an adapter where we are going to take all the data from this JSON feed and display that inside this custom layout file that we just created. And we can create the adapter by going to the package adapters here. Simply right click say new Java class. I will call this adapter box office and I'm not sure whether we are going to reuse this for the other two fragments at the time of making this video because I haven't seen the feed for them in details. Click OK. It says do you want to add the file to git? Yes. Make sure that you extend the recycler view.adapter over here. And of course we need to create a view folder which we can simply do by saying static class view folder box office. It also needs a constructor that takes a view argument as input and calls the super out here. Now the next thing that we need to do is pass a parameter. In our case we can directly pass the view folder box office and that takes care of that. Implement the methods by simply saying alt enter implement methods. All these methods are to be done. Now I have already done all of this in my playlist earlier on the recycler view especially in the videos 10 to 20 of this material design playlist. So let's create our constructor here by saying adapter box office. We are going to need a layout inflator by the help of which we are going to inflate this layout in code. So let's construct a layout inflator object. So at this step, I have initialized the layout inflator completely by calling layout inflator dot from here and pass the context from our constructor. Now we can go inside the on create view folder method and create an object of this view folder box office class that we created below. This is the object that we want to return here from our return statement by simply saying return view holder. But as you notice, it needs an argument where we need to pass a view that we just inflated 
with the help of our layout inflator so we can go to the top and say layout inflator dot inflate so layout inflator dot inflate is going to have this argument which is layout custom box office which is the same layout file that we created here second argument is parent and third is false if you're not sure how a layout inflator works again go to the players check android tutorial for beginners video number 89 and 88 i believe where i talk about the layout inflator so this is going to give us a view object which we can directly initialize here by saying view and we can pass this view object inside the on create view holder and this completes our step next step is to work with the on bind view holder method here the first argument is the view holder box office which is the same class that we created below inside this class we are supposed to create an object of the image view the text view and the rating bar that we are using inside our custom layout so once the layouts have been created over here you're going to come back here inside the on bind view holder method for the given position inside your recycler view you're going to take the data from a data structure such as an array list or a list and then fill that data inside the view so let's begin doing that so i put everything in place for you guys just create an object of the image view the text views and the rating bar use this item view object that is provided to you which is basically this layout inflator dot inflate which we did earlier and as you can see this argument just goes right inside which comes over here so use that to find view by id and then find and initialize all the views that you have in your layout file now coming to the most important part of this video and that is how to store or get the data inside the adapter box office you see we need access to a data structure inside the on bind view folder on that data structure if we supply a given position it's gonna give us the movie at the current position within the list or the recycler view what is it gonna be a hash map a string a ray list what is it so if you remember we have our movie class that's been created already here where we have all the information like id title release date everything which we did in our previous video if you go back to the fragment box office you can go all the way to the parse json response method and if you remember we took all the data here and we added that to an array list of movies and it's been created right here at the top which is called array list of movie list movies now this is the list which we are going to use inside our adapter box office so going to the top we create our array list that can contain movie objects within itself we make a setter method here we'll simply call it public void set movie list where we take an argument of type array list that stores movie objects we also need to notify that we have changed the data and we can do that by calling notify we have said notify item range changed from the position zero all the way to the new list of movies dot size that is how much data that has changed inside our app so going down further all we need to do now is use the view folder object and set data on its individual items get the current movie object from the array list called list movies by calling dot get and give the position that you are given as the second argument now use the holder dot movie title and call set text on that so that you guys can set the value of the text so there you go we have set our title the next thing would be the release date we can simply say holder dot movie release date dot set text here now the problem arises when we are trying to set the date if you remember current movie dot get release date is going to return a date object as you can see here for now we'll simply convert this to a string but later we are going to format this to display in the way we want if you go to our parse json response method in the fragment box office you will notice that there are several minor things that need to be fixed for starters here for the release dates we have two conditions one of them is when the date is available other is when we have set a default value of na indicating that the date is not available if the date is not available this statement at the bottom where we have said date format dot parse is going to fail and it's going to generate a parse exception currently this is unhandled we need to handle this to ensure that we give some default date value when the date is not available a better choice would be to have the try catch statement right here and add some dummy value or default value of date when the parse fails take a look at the audience score here inside the parse json response method it has an initial value of minus one if it's not available if it's available then it gets assigned to an integer value between zero and hundred now we need to make sure that we take care of this in a way inside our adapter box office on bind view holder 
the best way to do things would be to go here to our layout and actually have a text view at the same position as this rating bar and hide it initially. If the rating is available, we can show the rating bar with the rating value. If it's not available, we can show the text view with a message saying that rating is not available for this movie. That would be the ideal way to do this. By the way, I would also like to know if you guys think there's a better way of representing such a situation. To go back to our adapter box office, we can simply say holder dot movie audience score dot set rating. Here we take the value which is between 0 and 100 by calling current movie dot get audience score and divide that by 20.0f to get us a floating value between 0 and 5. The next part is the most dangerous part and that is to load data inside this image view. For that we are going to use our Wally singleton and image loader which we already initialized in our previous videos. If you go to the fragment box office and the parse json method you remember very well that we simply stored the url of a thumbnail inside this variable and by default it was null as well. So we need to take this into account when we are loading the images. So going to the adapter box office, go at the top and create a field of volley, singleton and image loader. Inside the constructor, simply initialize them the same way you did in the previous videos. So going all the way down, inside the on bind view holder, the first thing that we are going to do is say current movie dot get release date URL thumbnail. There it is. So this is going to give us the URL thumbnail of the movie that we want to download. Now we gotta make sure that this is not null. So we'll simply go here, add a clause saying if you're a thumbnail not equals to null, then in that case load the image. So for that we can simply say image loader dot get, and this is going to take the request URL, which would be our URL thumbnail, and the image listener object, which we can simply create here by saying new image listener. So in this case, as you notice, there are two parameters. There's the response that is given to you. And then there is the Wally error that is given to you. In case of a response, we want to set the image view with that particular image. In case of an error, we want to set a default image indicating that the image loader was not able to load anything. If the URL thumbnail is null, in that case, again, we need to set a default image indicating that nothing has been loaded. So inside the on response method, I'll simply say holder dot movie release movie thumbnail dot set image bitmap now i'll get the bitmap from the response by saying response dot get bitmap so at this point we have set the image now in case of an error and in case of the other null situation we will set up a default image in the upcoming videos when we have to refine this a lot the most important mistake that i noticed people doing all the time and asking me in the comments was to return zero from the get item count method here simply return the number of elements inside your list movies by calling dot size here all set and all done, all we need to do now is go back to our fragment box office and set the data for the adapter at the right moment. But first, we need to create the adapter by going all the way at the top and simply saying private adapter box office. Initialize this adapter box office inside the on create view where we have created our recycler view. Simply initialize that by calling the get activity method to return the context and then set that adapter on the recycler view. The next step obviously would be to go inside the parse json response method where we have actually got the response and set the adapter data over there. A better approach would be to change the return type of the parse json response from void to an array list of movie objects. Inside the method we simply create an empty array list initially and based on the condition whether everything is working perfectly we add the data to that array list and ultimately we return that array list outside. Now notice that if any exceptions offer then we still have an empty array list that is returned to us instead of a null. And we can go above now inside the on response method where we have sent the JSON request and we can get that data and store it inside our instance variable which is list movies. If we go at the top you will notice that list movies is our array list containing movie objects. Now everything is set and we can actually set the data at this point inside the on response. We can say adapter box office dot set movie list and we can pass this list movies object inside. So everything is good. We should be able to see the output on the screen right now. Once you set the data, go to the on create view method and call your send JSON request method, which in return is going to trigger everything that you saw so far. And if you go down now and run the app on our lollipop and free lollipop device, 
going to the box office tab bam take a look at that there's our movie list coming inside the recycler view that's being loaded and as you can see as you scroll down the images are being cast and recycled so there is no loading and it's pretty smooth the way i'm scrolling here on the screen as you guys can notice but this ui still looks pretty shitty for once the style that is bolded out here is not available here on free lollipop the date looks pretty shitty not to mention this huge rating bar which is again a big distraction and i'm not even sure if the rating has been set properly after converting it and what happens when there is no image view available what do we see when there is a volley error or the network response fails all these things and several minor issues need to be tackled before this can go final but in the meantime i would like to know how you would do this do you think the method which i used is right do you think it can be done better because i would love to hear from you your inputs and your thoughts in the comments as to what you will do when you face a situation like this in the meantime if you like what you saw please like this video share this video subscribe to slide nerd and let us know your thoughts in the comment boxes below thanks for watching i'll catch you guys in the next video have a nice